Okay, so we're back continuing practice test two and we reached question six. But remember that I'm going through these working quite very slowly. Remember that in C segments you have in paper one you have 90 minutes to do 60 questions. That gives you one and a half minute per question. What that means, if the exam starts at 1 o'clock, it will end at 2.30. Alright? So you have 1 to 1.30, 1 1.30 to 2, 2 to 2.30. Three half hours. One third of the time is 30 minutes. One third of the paper is... 20 questions 20 20 20 40 60 it means that if the exam starts at 1 by 1 30 you should reach question 20 or past it if you reach question 20 or past it then you're on track if you're behind then you need to speed up a bit and remember some questions are on the are answered in quick time with less in less than one and a half minutes all right so you can speed up a bit on those questions so you have more time for the harder questions but anyway let's continue from question six what did you get for question six according to this you should get question six b all right Question 6 should be B, but let's go through it and see. The cost price of an article is $40 and the profit is 20% of the cost price. What is the selling price? So you, you have a formula that you could use, but let's not use any formula for this. Let's reason it out. You have, you buy it for $40 and you want to make a profit of 20%. So the profit is 20 per cent off <coughs> so remember per mean divided by cent mean hundred out of a hundred of means multiplied 20 per cent of 40 that's a profit so cancel zero cancel zero two four is eight the profit you want to make is eight dollars what is selling price you add the eight to the 40 40 plus 8 and you get 48 dollars right so answer for question 5 question 6b so question 6 is b all right now question 7 is supposed to be c you should have got c for question 7 but let's look at it and see what happens what question 7 is saying You have three thousand seven hundred and fifty four expressed to the nearest hundred. How many hundred is this? If you look at it, it's thirty seven hundred plus something. All right. Now, initially, it's three thousand seven hundred plus something. Now the thing is this, it plus 54, this is 3700 plus 54, now 3700, when you stop at 7, and it's to the nearest 100 you know, so you stop at 7 and you look at the number after 7, you must add 1 to that number, so you add 1 to the 5, I mean, you look at the number after 7. If it's 5 or more, you go back to the 7 and add 1 to the number 7. So it's going to be 3,800. So question 7 is C. So that was the answer for question 7. Question 7, C. Alright. 
question 8 you should have got b when you did it was that what you got let's see for question 8 remember you should have done this already you should have done this and and have the school logic system mark your work before you look at these videos so let's look at this now you have pineapples sold at d cents per pound the total weight of three pineapple and is five pound what is the average cost of one pineapple now d cents per pound so d cents for every pound you ha it costs d cents so one pound costs d cents now three pineapples is five pound this is d cents per pound three pineapples cost weighs five pound what's the weight of one pineapple if three pineapples one two three of them weigh five pound it means that one pineapple weigh more than five pounds i mean weigh more than one pound because if three pineapple weighed one pound each the total weight would be three pounds if they weigh less than one pound each then it's less than three pound but if they weigh more than one pound each then the total weight is more than three pounds now here the weight of each is not three over five that's less than one it is five over three because each is heavier than one pound now the weight of one one pineapple weighs this pound so the cost per pound is this times d so it's five over three d cents per pound which is b all right was that it question eight is b so that's question eight okay question eight then question nine let's see what question nine says let me erase the rough work here and then go to question nine question nine says you have m a and c are constants then the equation of a straight line may be written as well this is something you should remember quickly y equal mx plus c so question 9 should be a all right so question 9 is a then well you should have done this before so i don't need to hide the the um answers from you but you should have done it already before looking at these videos now what about question 10 was a store charge is 6% VAT that's value added tax in Jamaica we call it GCT general consumption tax other countries call it something different so a store charge is 6% of VAT on all sales what is the total cost of a shirt marked at $30 all right the shirt the mark on it is $30 and you do not include tax on that at this store they don't include tax so you're going to have $30 plus tax so it's $30 plus 6 per mean divide cent mean hundred of mean multiply 30 six percent of 30 so this part is the tax so calculating the tax 10 into 30 goes 3 10 to 100 goes 10 2 into 6 
3 to the 10 5 you have 3 over 5 times 3 right when you divide down that's what you get then up top here 3 3 is 9 9 over 5 this is what 1 and 4 fifth 1 and 4 fifth is what 8 1.8 so when you add the 30 to the $1.80, you get $31.80. So the answer here is B. So question 10. Question 10, B. All right. Okay, so we reach question 10. I'm going to take a little break here and continue this practice tests later on.